Okay, so here's the deal. I think I made a mistake. It's been about a month, actually a little over a month since I changed from Canon to Fujifilm. Now at the beginning I told you about the transition, what it was like, what I was hyped about when I was changing to Fujifilm. A little over a month is enough for me to say that the honeymoon phase is over and tell you guys what I really think. Now, if I'm going to tell you quickly about the transition itself, it was really easy. If you think about it, the Canon cameras that I had, they were pretty similar to the X-H2 and the X-H2S that I got right here. These cameras are like a fusion of those cameras. They have a top-down screen, they have the dial. The R6 didn't have a top-down top screen, the R did, but the R didn't have a dial, the R6 did. So they're like a fusion of those both. Now when moving to Fujifilm, the first thought that I had in my mind was that I wanted something more. I wanted a camera that has high resolution for pictures, and I wanted a good camera for video. So I got the X-H2 that has 40 megapixels, and I got the X-H2S that has 26 megapixels and a stacked sensor. That makes videos look pretty cool with minimal rolling shutter. The X-H2S has more capabilities than the R6. It has 4K 120 FPS, etc. So that makes it really nice to use as a video camera. Now the thing that I think there is more is the Fuji colors, it's the film simulations that make photography really interesting, that makes video making really interesting. I love making videos just with film simulations, even though F-Log2 is really awesome with high dynamic range, but still, I just love the film simulations. They're making my life easy, well, not to say easy, but they're making it interesting. They're making photography interesting. Now, why I picked these cameras is because they are Fujifilm flagship cameras. I wanted flagship cameras. I wanted something that I can use on gigs, on like professional photography that I do, weddings and promotional shoots and stuff like that. So I wanted cameras for that. Now, I said it once and I'm gonna say it again. Somebody who's been using Fujifilm for a long time is gonna disagree with me when I say that the looks of the X-H2 and the X-H2S are awesome. I like them. Fujifilm cameras have a distinct look. Even the newer model of the X-T series, X-T5, has that distinct look that Fujifilm users are used to. And that look is without a doubt the best look in modern cameras that I've ever seen. And in the future I might even get myself a camera like the X-T5 that has that distinct look with all those dials and everything that makes a Fujifilm camera a Fujifilm camera. Actually I have a camera like that. I have the X-100. Now I really wanted to do this talking part outside, but it's really windy out there. It actually looks like at some places that it's about to start raining. Just gonna show you. Probably over there you can see in the distance that table, those chairs, that's the place where I was supposed to do this talking session, but no, it's not gonna work. The winds are just too harsh. You can probably hear it howling through the roof, probably, probably not. Don't know how the make it's gonna pick it up, but still, too windy, too windy for stuff. 
to do outside. Now the Canon cameras that I own are still perfectly fine. I can still do some YouTube videos with them. I can still do some client work with them, but they just didn't feel like my own. It's a matter of pleasing yourself. Wait, no, that didn't sound right. Now at one point I just felt bored with my footage and my photos that I took with my Canon cameras. And even though I tried to mix things up, I tried new things, they just didn't feel right. It, did, it didn't feel right. Mainly because, like I said, those cameras and that gear just didn't feel like I got them because I really wanted them. I really needed them. Now somebody might be thinking out there that why did you get two new camera bodies? Why didn't you just get new lenses or something like that? Well, that's a topic that I'm not gonna go into because it's like talking and trying to debate that which came first, the chicken or the egg. Talking about lenses, an RF lens costs you about a kidney and a testicle. So no, I'm not gonna spend my money like that on just one piece of gear. With Fuji, the costs are a little bit lower. Thinking about an RF lens, you can buy actually two Fuji lenses with the same price. Maybe even three lenses if you think about Viltrox, Tamron, Samyang, you can get third-party lenses. Now, if you're the kind of guy who have told me at that situation when I was in that steep hole and didn't know what to do, that go buy some new lenses. I would have told you to give me the money for those lenses. Wait, no, that's actually robbery, no. <laughs> Okay, so I came to a coffee place that is at the outer rims of the city. It is a small place. I just hope the coffee's okay. So here's the deal. I think I made a mistake. Now don't get me wrong, I love the cappuccino. The cappuccino right there, over there at that little cabin is freaking awesome. But at home, I usually make my coffee at least twice as, you know, hard. Hard coffee, much caffeine, making me stay awake. That just made me feel a little bit drowsy but it was it was tasty as hell damn it now on the other hand changing to fuji wasn't a mistake that took like months of planning and trying to figure out what camera brand is my brand what is the change that i want fuji just won in all categories when i did the comparison on different kind of cameras now when changing to fuji it didn't feel like a downgrade more of an upgrade if you ask me because the xh2s has more video capabilities than the R6 and the X-H2 has more resolution than the R. And the X-H2 and the X-H2S, they compete with other high-end cameras, high-quality cameras like the R5 and let's say Sony 7S III or something like that. I don't have no idea what a kind of <laughs> brand Sony is because I never used a Sony, but Sonys are great. So yeah, it was worth it. At least for me, it was really worth it. I'm just gonna go take some more pictures for Instagram for myself and be sure to check out my Instagram. And if you like the video, like the examples, everything like that, remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and I'll be seeing you on the next one. What?